A scramble to save his reputation and an acknowledgement that government policy was helping spread the virus. Just some of the latest revelations in the WhatsApp leaks of the former health secretary at the height of the pandemic. In a time before smartphones, crash jokes and political manoeuvring might have remained as unrecorded chats in corridors. But instead, thanks to what's been described as a massive betrayal by the journalist who has access to them, 100,000 of Matt Hancock's WhatsApp messages have been steadily dripped into the public domain. Already the leaked WhatsApp messages have revealed jokes about mandatory hotel quarantine, disparaging comments about the teaching union and going against advice on face masks in schools and testing those going from hospitals to care homes. Earlier this week, Matt Hancock apologised to colleagues for the revelations, but called it a partial biased account to suit an anti-lockdown agenda. And the latest leak is no less revealing highlighting this uncomfortable exchange between Matt Hancock and an advisor about COVID spikes amid the government's eat out to help out policy. Just want to let you know directly that we have had lots of feedback that eat out to help out is causing problems in our intervention areas. I've kept it out of the news, but it's serious. So please, please, let's not allow the economic success of the scheme to lead to its extension. Have you told Rishi? I don't think he can afford to extend it. Yes, we've told Treasury. We've been protecting them in the comms, and thankfully it hasn't bubbled up. Then four months later, a joke about bringing the policy back. Sorry, I'm just in the middle of dinner. Can I call you back in 20? Dinner? Isn't that illegal? Not anymore, all thanks to Rishi. He hasn't launched another eat out to help the virus get about, has he? The leak also shows the frantic damage control in the days after the health secretary's affair and breach of his own guidance was revealed. How bad are the pics? It's a snog and heavy petting. How the f did anyone photograph that? F knows. Did you snog her in the department? Yes. Whereabouts? Office and balcony. By the way, this is a first offence and genuine. That won't matter much tomorrow, but it will in the medium term. Today, the chair of the Labour Party called for the COVID inquiry to speed up so bereaved families can get answers. We repeatedly heard from government ministers that they put a protective ring around care homes. And what these leaked messages show is that they had the ability to act and they chose not to act. It's unclear what, if any, other revelations are yet to be published. But the behind-the-scenes insight of those running the country during such an unprecedented time will be poured over for years to come.